the question of whether or not BPA is safe or not cannot be answered because safety is relative. All we can talk about is degrees of, of risk. This is one of the problems in science is that we can never prove a negative. We can never prove that something can't happen or, 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 or doesn't happen. I mean, I couldn't even prove that reindeer cannot fly. I don't think that they can, but I couldn't prove it. We could take one up to the top of the Washington Monument and nudge it off. And if that animal ever in its life were motivated to fly, that's the moment. I think we'd have a mess at the bottom. We could repeat it, I suspect, with the same results. The only thing we would have proven is that those reindeer on this given day could not or for some reason chose not to fly. Maybe there are some, maybe eight reindeer, which under the right conditions and the right motivation can fly, right? You can't prove that something cannot happen. So I can't prove that bisphenol A is not dangerous. What I can do is look at the massive amount of scientific literature that has been accumulated, the over 5,000 studies that have been done on bisphenol A, and make an educated guess about what this chemical does to the human body. There certainly have been some effects noted in test animals. This is always a problem because the human is not a giant rat, with some exceptions. So you can't directly extrapolate from rodent studies to, to human studies. Furthermore, in many cases, the doses that are used in rodents are much larger than what would be exposed to. But the biggest problem in those rodent studies, which have shown developmental problems with BPA, is that they have not been reproduced. And that's the, the prime criterion of science. You don't pay attention to anything until it has been properly reproduced. So yes, you certainly get some research labs showing various effects with BPA, but you have others who cannot reproduce those effects. So when you put it all together, I would say that whatever the risk is, is trivial, but that doesn't get mentioned. This is not what, what captures reporters' uh, you know, eye. Should there be some study that shows that some Chinese laborers who work in a terrible occupational environment, essentially immersed elbow deep in BPA, have some problems with their sex life, anecdotally, that makes the news, right? But when the German Toxicological Society, made up of, of researchers who spend their life studying this stuff and who peruse, as they did a couple of weeks ago, over 900 properly randomized controlled studies and come to the conclusion that there's no significant risk with BPA, that doesn't make the news. I didn't see that in any newspaper. I know of this, of course, because I read the scientific literature, but that hasn't uh, appeared. So man bites dog is news, dog bites man is not.